What up, motherfuckers? Mr. Matt up in this bitch coming at you, pre recorded than a motherfucker. Affirmative. Come with me or there will be trouble. Uh, I don't know what else Robocop says. Uh, man, don't ever get a surgery because life sucks after that. Um, for a little bit. Hopefully it gets better, but right now I'm high as shit. I just finished taking the. Like eight pills or whatever that I normally take in the morning. My 8.30 pills. It's like 8.30 right now in the morning. 8.55, whatever. So uh, I slept here again in my chair. My sight. Just like this. Seriously, I've, I've been sleeping like this. Sometimes I put my feet up on the couch. As pain allows me. Or as my tolerance allows me. I'm out of my fucking mind. I'm not coherent right now. I'm high. Of these fucking narcos. Narcos? Whatever they are. They're not good. I hate them. So anyways, uh, quick update. I'm numb. I can't taste anything. It's not coronavirus either because I can actually taste it, but it's, it's a different sensation. Anyways. So I did the... Uh, I'm so loud. Even when I'm not trying to be... I just can't scream because it's like... Ugh, it comes from the stomach and if I squeeze, man, that shit back there is going to fuck me up. Uh, so... I did a little report on day two and three, right? Day one, day two, yeah, the day of, and then day two and three. So let me tell you, man, day three was a challenge. Day four was a challenge. Uh, day five, also a challenge. Today is after like around 1 p.m. It's going to be technically day six. But I'm going to only report on day, I don't know, I look pale, four and five, right? Uh, so, so after day three, when I tried the bed... Uh, and I got up, and I think I, hopefully I didn't ruin anything getting out of bed. Uh, I've been feeling a lot of pain, or maybe these aren't, my tolerance has been building or some shit with this, because these don't alleviate the pain like they did the first couple days or whatever. I'm not going to take any more, though, because I don't want to get hooked on that nasty-ass shit. But I'll deal with it for now. It's not debilitating, but it does hurt a lot more than the first two days. Uh, day four, I slept on this uh, chair. Uh... You know, I've tried to get in and out of uh, the shit, the couch, but it's hard. It's hard to get in and out of the bed. Um, I finally pooped, and it was a lot, enough to clog my whole shit and ruin my day. Because, uh, yeah, it, it overfilled <laughs> the, the next time I used the washroom. And thankfully, it didn't have shit, you know, in it, but it overflowed my toilet. And uh, we had to clean and stuff like that. I'm itchy as hell. These drugs make you itchy as shit, right? So anyways, uh, that was day five or four. I forget which day. But I tried to go to sleep in my regular bed. And, uh, I woke, and I fell asleep really early. I've been in and out of consciousness this whole time. Uh, I don't have no type of sleep schedule right now. It's just whenever my body feels like nodding off mid-sentence even. As I'm, I don't know, saying something, looking at something, typing something. I'll, I'll actually crash out like a fucking... A needle hype or something. So I forget which day it was. Uh, let me see. Yeah, I want to say it was the end of day four. I tried to go sleep in my bed. And uh, waking up was such a nightmare because I had... And I slept good, man. You know, because this chair ain't no fucking... I mean, it's not bad, I guess. Uh, but it's not sleeping, you know. It's like a nap. It's like I've, I've been taking perpetual naps all day. So, um, so I wake up and like I said, I had to go use the washroom and that was a rude awakening because then shit's overflowing and I had to crouch down and shut the valve off and get the fucking vacuum, uh, what do you call that shit? The wet dry vac, I guess, to mop up all the shit off the ground and then I had to throw paper towels down because I can't be crouching down there. Uh, so that was a big problem. So, yeah, keep an eye out for that. I've taken a lot of Metamucil, and I don't know if it didn't soften it enough. Yeah, it was bad. Uh, as far as pain, though, uh, feel like it might be tapering off a little bit. I'm not too sure because I'm still feeling it. It's like the, the less this works, the more I feel it, but the less overall it's going. It, it's hurting, I guess. Does that make sense? I don't know. I don't even think I'm making any sense right now. Like, as I'm saying this shit, I feel like... I'm, and sorry if I'm, it looks like I'm picking my ass, I'm not, I'm picking tape off my back, because it's really itchy, and I got this fucking, like, tape on my shit, 
Oh, see all the little like tape residue. It's itchy. All right, so yeah, so day four and five, uh, man, day one and two were so much better. You know, if I could relive those days again, uh, would that be all right? But uh, day four and five, uh, today is gonna be the sixth day, sixth day. Uh, hopefully, I get better. I wanted to start, you know, uh, going further away with hours as far as these. So instead of every four hours, I wanted to do every six hours or something like that. But I don't know. We'll see. My back. Uh, I woke up. That was the first shit I felt. Uh, but I'll say this: getting out of this thing is easier than getting out of the bed, uh, than getting up from the toilet, than getting off these couches. I tried sitting there and here not too long ago, and it was it was a challenge to get out of out of the shit. So that's about it, uh, man. I'll check in. I, I I don't know if I'm gonna do any more daily, every two three days, whatever. I'm just gonna start maybe the next week. We'll see. I'll do uh, maybe one on Monday. That'll be like the one week mark, seven days, you know? And then we'll go from there. See how it is, but lumbar, spine surgery. <whistles> Never again, buddy. Never again. Uh, hopefully it works, though. If it works, then eh, all right. But I don't know. So far, it's, it's, it's been an endeavor. Anyways, thank you for watching. Peace out. I got a little thing I want to get to. This will hopefully keep my mind off of this shit. But uh, thank you for watching. Peace out. Oh, oh no, no, no. Not yet, not yet. Uh, I was going to shout out my peoples again because uh, I forgot to leave comments. Like I said, I was going to leave comments. I've been in and out of consciousness. And shout out to everybody hitting me up because uh, sorry I haven't gotten a chance to talk with you. Again, in and out of consciousness. So I don't know what the fuck is going on. Uh, niggas been hitting me up, calling me and shit. Uh, let me see. There we go. <laughs> uh, let's see. Uh, so, uh, shout outs to Rem. Uh, I don't know if I've heard this or read this comment already or not, but so my memory is kind of bad. But it says, I'm glad you're doing all right. Okay, I left my ass off when you said it was cold and you were misrepresented because you were a grower. I mean, you know. Uh, does your butthole hurt? Uh oh. Uh, no, I hope not. Uh, I am pretty numb, though, so they better not have done anything. I never trust when they knock me out. I'm saying. Jokes aside, I hope you won't have to deal with the pain you had to anymore. Best switches with the healing process. Oh, by the way, do a little update in one of your future videos to let us know how you are doing. Okay. I mean, I plan on kind of incorporating that into my other videos. Uh, but uh, let's see. So far, it seems like the healing process is doing good, and I don't think I'm dealing with the pain that I had just yet. I don't know yet. We'll see when this shit starts wearing up. Uh, another comment says, oh, nice. You responded to my Ramune comment at the end of the video. I'm going to try to do that because I feel like maybe it's easier because then when I think about trying to do this shit, it never happens. Uh, and said, yeah, I would like to see you do more videos on them. Yes, I will, even if they are short tastings. Yep. I'm curious about those drinks. So I do plan on doing that. I'm going to pop each one individually, drink it, just see, you know, what it tastes like. Maybe two at a time, something like that. Um, maybe do a little side-by-side -side comparison. Um, that was on my day one video. Uh, I got two comments and then the Ram uh, the, the unboxing vid uh, from the homeboy Mike Simons, the Care Package 2021. Ram uh, left a comment saying, I would love, like to see another wing Sorry, my eye. Tasting video with the hot sauces. I enjoyed the first one. I'm always looking for new and delicious hot sauces. So it's nice to see new ones I may not have tried. All right. Perfect because uh, the homeboy ate time Miranda uh, was out of town. And he came back and he says he, he brought me a little something, something. Shout out to eight time What's up? Sorry I couldn't get back to you. Uh, in and out of fucking consciousness. Uh, but I am. Uh, you said... Uh, if I've been keeping up with Dashy, I kind of have, I think. He said he got a couple gifts for me, so that's what's up. I see a little mama bear, papa bear, baby bear, hot sauces or something. And he's doing his matrix puzzle. This is kind of like a little puzzle, sort of, not really. Uh, shout outs to the homeboy, A Tom. Uh, shout outs to the homeboy, hell yeah. He said he was going to ring me a ding, give me a ringy ding ding yesterday. <laughs> ring a ding 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 ding. Uh, 
So, yeah, I've been in and out of my fucking mind. Anyway. Uh, hey, Tom, what's up? Uh, I see you on the first day one video. He says, look at you doing a video already. You're lucky I'm out of town. Otherwise, your back will be fucked up again. True that. Uh, Beans, what's up, Beans? Man, I hope your back pain goes away because my dad has shit like that. He says he's in a lot of pain. Your poor father, man. I feel for anybody who's got to deal with any type of back pain because this shit is no joke. I'll kill anybody tells you. Uh, he said, I've seen what a hernia looks like and I just can't believe... And I just can't believe how it gets like that. Ugh. Hernias are whack. Uh, one of my guys from work has one. And it's coming out of his crotch, I guess. Uh, I haven't seen it, but he told me about it. He says, I wish I could speak for myself, but I never had any surgeries besides when I was born and I had problems. Damn. Well, I'm glad you're doing better. And you never have to... Hopefully, you never have to go through another surgery, man. Never, never, never. Because that shit is... I've been through one, two, three, four now. I can't recommend any of them. Even if they do fucking heal you or make you better, surgeries always suck. All right, uh, but I never had any surgery. Uh, uh, I just hope you feel no more pain. Me too, man. And I hope the same for you, man. If you had to have a surgery when you were born, that sucks. I keep making the videos because they're really good. Thanks, man. I appreciate that. I don't think they're good, but it is me. You know, I'm my own worst critic. All right, uh, another uh, two more comments here. Um, day two and three video. Uh, Rem says, oh no, I was hoping that things would be smooth sailing for you since day one was so good. Ah oh, man, I'm saying one and two, the best shit. Three, not so much. Four, not so much. Five isn't as bad though. Five was all right. All right. But I was fucking just in and out of fucking consciousness these past couple of days. So it's hard to gauge it, you know, if I'm actually in pain or if I'm just sleeping most of the day away. I did do a lot of walking around, I think, yesterday, but I think that was too much. Uh... They said, uh, I guess as you continue the healing process, it will be a little bit more of a challenge. It was. Just be careful. Don't push yourself too hard. I think I did a couple times, and I paid for it, but, you know, I don't know. He said, I wish you the best with your healing. Also, be careful with those painkillers. Yes, I know what you mean. He said, I don't know what type you're taking, but if they are what I think they are, you don't want to become addicted to them. Hell no, I don't. These are Norcos, so they're like hydrocodone or some shit like that. I do not like any codeine, codones, uh, Vicodin, Norco, none of that shit. I hate all them fucking pills. They're disgusting. That. And I get itchy, literally, like a fucking crackhead. I'm like, got more crack? It says, uh, I don't want to become, uh, they might get rid of the pain. They, I think they do. I don't know. I still feel pain, but he said, but becoming addicted to them can be really bad. I know. Uh, I definitely don't want that. My friend had his pelvis crushed in a car accident, and he got addicted to his painkillers. And once they stopped giving him via prescription to him, he had to move to illegal drugs for pain management. And now he's addicted to heroin. Ugh. Just make sure you keep it under control. I do not want to be addicted to heroin. Uh, I don't want heroin. I've never done heroin. I don't want to think about heroin. This shit's... If this is sucks, I don't know how people get addicted to these drugs, man. Uh, what's up? Hell yeah. He said, you'll feel tons better if you complete the look. I did complete the look. I had the, 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 the shit. I had the, you know, the track pants. Uh, so that's it. Just wanted to, uh, you know, acknowledge these comments. I, I hope, uh, I still get a chance to, what do you call it? Um, right. <laughs> you know, here, uh, but if not, at least I got you on the video. But I still want to write, you know, reply in person. I got to go. Uh, I'm going to do this puzzle quick. It's a Lego thing. Uh, it's going to be the next video if I don't publish this right away. But you'll see. Man, I got to... I'm telling you, I just took these and fucking shit, man. I am not feeling good. But uh, thank you for watching. And I'll see you in the next one.